Spider, this is something that has gotten a lot of attention on, on Twitter. A lot of people are saying, wait, where's the outrage of, uh, uh, for, for what's going on in Nigeria? We saw four million people marching in the streets of Paris. We saw world leaders gathering there to sort of stand in solidarity with Paris. Where are those calls for the same kind of justice for the people of Nigeria? Help us understand the difference here and, and maybe why we're not hearing the same level of outrage. Or is oh, there a reason? Yeah, good morning, Michaela. Yeah, the issue is, you know, the, the stark difference, isn't it? Um, world leaders, uh, very prominent, linking arms, walking the Champs Elysees, uh, uh, complete solidarity against this out and outrage against what happened in Paris, vis-a-vis uh, -vis what we see in Nigeria, Nigeria, which is truly not, it, it should not be surprising. Look, what's happening in Nigeria is barbarous. It's horrible. I mean, it's complete madness. Yet it's not a priority. The United States unilaterally could do almost anything it needs to do to root out Boko Haram. It would be a long-term effort, but it could be done. And the United States has the capability. All the elements of power, we have those. So why in not? Com complete, it's not a priority. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. We are committed elsewhere in the world. Black West Africa is not a priority. Very stark, very hard to say, but that's the case right now. It's a regional issue. If we were to see Boko Haram appear in some other region of the world, white Africa, which is North Africa, or in the Mideast in some way, we would be alarmed. But it's a regional issue. It recruits regionally. There's a limitless supply of radicals in that part of the world that are willing to do these incredibly barbarous acts. But if we can contain it, if it can be contained, if it can self-contain, in other words, it doesn't have an, an ability to metastasize or expand elsewhere, frankly, sadly, we're okay with it. But see, that's where the issue is, because this one town or this one city of Baga is right along the border with Chad. And, and Nick, I want to bring you back in. There is a real concern. I, I, President Goodluck Jonathan sent his sympathies to Paris. Yet he said nary a word about what happened in that border town where there was a slaughter of, of some reports saying 2,000 people. This is radical terrorism seemingly unfettered. Uh, unfettered and, and metastasizing for that reason. Um, we've heard that from the, you know, from, uh, from the Archbishop of Jos here, an influential figure, saying exactly that. Look, here you have Boko Haram in Nigeria. They've just struck across the border in Cameroon. Um, they've got the freedom of access into, into Chad, across to Niger, to the north. Um, this is a growing more than regional threat reaching into North Africa. When did Boko Haram get more weapons? When Libya fell apart in 2011. I was in Niger, which borders the south of Libya um, at that time afterwards when the weapons were flowing through, things as big as helicopters dismantled on the backs of trucks being taken out of uh, military bases in Libya, taken through Niger to Nigeria, right beneath it. Mm. Boko Haram got their hands on a massive haul of weapons. Boko Haram is growing at the moment and right now Niger, Nigeria, Chad and Cameroon. But it's connected through, through uh, Niger to Mali. Al-Qaeda is in Mali. Mm -hmm. It's connected mm -hmm. through Niger to Libya, where it got the weapons from. But the weapons go south, the people, the ideology goes north. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, they're getting stronger in the east of Libya. Uh, you know, it, it, it's sort of almost endless across the north of Africa. So, yes, that is a metastasizing threat here that will, over time, if not thwarted, um, at least underpin the, the, the al-Qaeda threat and the ISIS threat that's growing in North Africa, which then threatens Europe just across the Mediterranean. Not just weapons, not right. just terrorism, but an outflow of migrants, which is destabilizing Europe at the moment.